Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. And today we are making a step by step guide video for Hikvision NXI 4 channel NVR. So basically what happens when you install a new NVR, Hikvision NXI 4 channel. So what happens when you power the NVR? So step by step guide. So we're going to show you how to uh, configure the NVR or you can call it a wizard video. Okay, we have NVR on our screen as you can see. So when you plug the NVR, power the NVR, this skin will appear at first. So let's see what to do after that. So Ravi is with me as well. So Ravi is going to start one by one. So what we are going to do now. So Ravi, over to you now. So what to do now after this? So, okay, this prompt appear. We have to select this one, yes? Okay. So the language? Language, yes, okay. Then? Apply. Okay. The important part about this password, uh, you know, when you select the password, you cannot choose admin 123 or anything randomly 123. Hikvision won't allow you to choose this password. So you have to choose a different password. Can't be 123, maybe 1250, 1803, whichever you like, but you can't do 123. Uh, so we are going to put the password. Before that, uh, we are going to open the eye so we know what we are typing. Okay, let's start. So we are putting a password for the NVR now. Okay, now we have to repeat the password, confirm the password that we are putting the right password, same password which we have selected earlier. So you can open the eye as well just to make sure you are typing the same. Okay, now okay. The password hint, when you forget your password, the hint will help you to remember. It is recommended to set the hint. Hint, you can maybe put your son name, daughter name, whatever you like, your house number, whatever. So you can choose as per your choice. So we'll leave it for the time being. And now the bottom will unlock the pattern, yes? Okay, we click on that. So you can make a pattern, whichever you like. So we are going to make a U pattern here. So you have to do it twice, okay? Okay, done. So now, yeah, we'll activate. Now, the time zone. So we are in Edinburgh or London, so we have to select the time zone here. So we already selected, yes, but if you, if you can't, you have to select this one, yes, which location where you live. Okay, as per the location. The date format is okay, date, month, yeah, that's perfect. And date time, today is 8th of March, that's okay, perfect and the time is okay time is also good and now important thing about some people got confused about ntp time scenic so i'll show you what to what happens when we select this one enable this so enable ntp so you can see what happens the dvr if connects to the internet or online it will ping the time you know interval time every 60 minute yes it will hit the google server to get the time so as you can see the google.com so it will update the time every 60 minutes i don't think it's a bit confusing so i will recommend not to select this one yes and now we go next the top one as you what is a dhcp is enabled right now but in case in your nvr if it's disabled you have to make it enable yes so just show me how to we will show you how to disable it now so that means basically you want to make sure your DVR and VR connects to the internet. You have to make sure your DSCB should be enabled. Okay. Done. Yes. Now leave the other. You don't need anything else. So next. Now we can see the hard drive capacity there. We have a one terabyte hard drive installed in our DVR. So we, are go we have to initialize. If you install any new hard drive, you might see the hard drive, but you have to initialize. You can see the initialization there. So you have to initialize, yes, okay. Then wait, yes, once 100% done, then go to the next. Sometimes people can go to the next as well, but I recommend personally, until it is 100% done, wait. So yeah, it's done now, yes. So we go next. Okay, so what happens if you have Hikvision devices in your office or in the same network, those devices will appear at the bottom. So at the moment we have a Hikvision alarm, as you can see, it's appearing here. Okay. Okay. So leave that for the time being. And then we go next. This is very important. Hikonnect. 
why we have to enable the hit connect basically people want to remotely view the nvr or dvr or a camera on their mobile phone so just to activate that on a hit connect app you have to enable this hit connect at the top okay enable it so now term and condition okay and then okay so you can see connection status because we have connected uh, the internet cable from the router to our nvr so that's why showing nvr is showing online now the bind status is no because this nvr is not connected to anybody's account yes free at the moment once you have a mobile app and you add it to your account so the bind status will be showing yes at the moment this nvr is free for many account showing no and now important part verification code sometimes the random verification code sometimes people can't remember it is extra layer of security when you connect any device on your mobile app it will ask for a verification code as well so make sure put something uh, added the verification code something in which you can remember for example we'll put here Hilton one two three oh sorry one two five okay so add now is confirm so you remember what is the verification code because as I said when you add the device on your mobile app it will ask extra layer of security it will ask for a verification code so make sure you remember something if you can't make sure change the verification code something which you can easily remember now go next The new verification code is only valid for videos afterward. Let's say someone changed the verification code after uh, after a couple of days of recording. Then the verification code will valid after that recording. Okay, we close it now. Again, extra layer of security. If you want to retrieve your password, for example, you forget your password. Now you want to retrieve your password. So these are the extra layer of security. Need to put your email address and the details. Uh, we won't fill it right now because it is entirely up to you you want to do that you can do that but at the moment we are not filling anything yes other you we just fill if you want just one 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 just for the sake of video completing this one we just put one and you can do your choice whichever you like yes basically to retrieve your password now finish so safe side we have connected one ip camera back of this nvr so i'll show you the why we did connect this camera back of the nvr so let's go to the we we'll go to the nvr setting menu go to the configuration now go to the camera setting you know sometimes people do complain they have connected the camera they can only see uh, sorry they can only see the video they can't hear anything even nowadays all the cameras they are built in mic as well but they complain live view they can only see the video can't hear the audio at all so why this happen so we will show you how to remove uh, how to resolve this issue go to the net uh, camera then go to the record and here you can see the parameter now let's see camera number one so what happened if you see the camera number one go underneath what is that stream type only video so what, even the camera has the audio built in but by default it's coming as audio or video so you have to select video and audio just to make sure then you have to apply and then after if you have a four other camera you can do one by one as we did and also you can do uh, if you go underneath the copy you can copy and do the same as well select all the cameras and audio video this is the main stream okay we'll cancel it now go to the sub stream as well again as you can see sub stream only the video you have to select video and audio and then apply this way what will happen on a live view you can not only see the video you can hear the audio as well and one more important one com people complain live view they can hear the audio or they can see the video hear the audio but when they do a playback they can't hear any audio at all so just to resolve the issue we need to go back to the schedule yeah that's correct and if you go down you can see advance you have to click on the advance now you can see record audio we have to enable it yes it's not enabled okay so what will happen now when you see a playback you can hear the audio as well okay apply this that's done now we go back to the live view again on a main so we have only connected one camera now i'll show you how to check whether your nvr is online or offline as i said we have connected the cable back off from the nvr LAN port to our router 
so how to check sometimes people do complain their nvi is not online so go to the configuration and then go to the network and the same concept i think with the dvr as well configuration network platform access here you can see the connection status showing online so this way that your dvr or nvr is online you can view on your mobile phone as well as long as you know the verification code and you have uh, scanned the qr code or added the dvr nvr on your mobile app i think this is pretty much about this uh, about the visit that's a basic visit anytime you set up a new nvr you have to go through these uh, step by step guide these menu here and i can't think of anything to be honest that's everything okay thank you very much for watching our video and hopefully